So now I'm fitting these wood panels here. Oh yeah, here at night. Still plodding on. I'm not going to stop until this side's finished. So it's not very bright. But if, uh, move over here a bit. It wasn't easy doing this. This wood slots back in. There's my three holes. This will be my thing over the top. As you can see, bang on. Pops it good in. There we go. Time to fit the electric back in. All fixed back in. Sweet as a nut. Right guys, I've had a tidy up here. There was a load of crap there. So I built this frame a couple of weeks ago. That's going to be the front of the cupboard. So I'm just going to got about an hour left of the day. Keeps raining on and off. So I found uh, this was already made from last time and these pieces were already cut. I have just uh, botched the bottom piece up. And I've got these three pieces cut for the top which are going to go along here. And then I'm going to use a piece of this, same as that, for the work top on here. As you can see here, I've just knocked up this cupboard bit. So what's going to look like with the cupboard unit on it. So that should be enough room to fit the diesel heater and the extra tank. Evening guys, it's a bit later. I've been inside and uh, watched a bit of Gangs of London come back. This first coat is pretty much dry, but not great quality. This is the first coat of black, but you get the idea, I think. So, hi guys, it's the next morning. I had the leftovers of the kebab for my breakfast. Shifted my scabby mattress out of the way. Um, sanded these down a bit today. There's a few bugs, as usual. So today I've turned the inside of the van to a paint shop. So I'm going to paint these two, hopefully the last coat, inside the van, as neat as I can. And hopefully shut the door, shut the back door anyway. Um, it's a nice day today, so it would have been nice to paint them outside. But too many bugs, the odd leaf, it's not good. So we're going to paint them inside the van. What I also did yesterday was finish off this wall here because as you remember it was just like this so to fit this to fit this cupboard in here I wanted a nice back surface so I'm using old bits of hardboard 5mm, uh, 9mm left a bit of an edge there for a trim just going to finish off this bit and then jobs are good and on that wall so I finally cut all this to size it's going to be the worktop here. It's just about the same height as that. Not too bothered. But I wanted it the same, the right height so I can whew, throw a knee over. Being out to a PVC window company. And we picked up, finally, some trim. So, I've been having a little bit of a play. And done this. Just, I've had to chop off this bar. This was a pole here. I don't know where to put it. So that when they open the fridges, bottom one opens and top one opens with this. It's just getting in the way. I'll be back. They'll be fixed and the top will be on. October. The 31st, Halloween. Just crushed a bulb. Big Steve was saving. Oops. 
So yeah, about this edging. So that's finished off now. Still gonna have to give this a sand down. And another paint. It's a cold one today. So slapping in the van again, no heater. This was yesterday's job. Did the wall on this side. I fixed this in. Not the top, but the frame is in. Neat as I could get it. Straight as I could get it. And then I've had to add this little piece in. Because as you'll see, I'm going to go and drag the diesel heater out. And see what the position is. And then maybe, if I can find any attachment to the drill, start drilling holes through the floor. Shit in me pants. Hello guys, so um, <clears throat> it's night time now, started drilling through the hole for the diesel heater and uh, I can show you <clears throat> this, completely fact. So I tried doing the other hole which is a bit bigger for this black one uh, and I think the same is going to happen. So instead started having a play around with all these electrics and I finally decided where my front three lights are going. Three, that's right, three. I can't really see it proper. But it's nice and bright in here. So you've got these three at the front. I told you we we're going to have three at the back. And I've decided obviously I need one in the shower, which is there. It's been absolutely shocking weather today, so I've been with the with the door shut, as you can see. With the wind as well, shocking, shocking wind. Um, so yeah, I might play around with more electrics because there's not much else to do. I'm actually gonna go to the shop, garage, and get some diesel. Mm. And I'm gonna power the thing off, even without the exhaust. So it might kill me, but if it doesn't, I'll uh, see you later. 